Hi everyone, I'm Winnie. I'm a teacher and a um, relieving assistant principal in a primary school in Sydney and welcome to my new video. Um, and I'm in my new apartment in my new living room and I finally got my wedding photos up so I'm really happy about that. Um, okay, let's get straight into it. So um, today I'm going to talk about um, a really quick and easy way to um, have a look at your students' progress and see where they are at. So let me show you an example of what I've got. So, so have a look. So this is a sheet that I put together. Um, I've been using exit slips to figure out where kids are at um, for their math. And um, so I had all these little bits of paper everywhere and I was thinking, well, why don't I just put it all on the one, one sheet of paper and then um, I'll be able to just see it um, yeah, see where they're at. So um, on this piece of paper here, so I will um, screen share um, and share a version of this, um, share this um, with you as well in the um, description box below. Um, but as you can see, I've put in like all the different math goals and then I've put in um, color coded as well. And I can already see that this student um, has been able to achieve this, 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 and this is where they are up to um, for this student here on angles. And I will show you a screen share. Yeah, I will screen share you um, one of what I am showing you so that you can have a look. And on this page, I can already easily see that um, the students started on this goal and that they are now on this goal down here. So let me just um, screen share and show you what it looks like so you can clearly see it. So this is what it looks like. Um, we were working on angles this week and um, I put in the math goals, all of the different goals, and I have a stage two class, so year three, four. So um, I put in the goals for year three and I put in the year four goals and I also put in the year, um, year five math goals for angles as well so that I could see who was working um, above um, and who needed to be extended um, as well. So this is, yeah, the exit slips and they're all on one page so that um, I can easily have a glance at, you know, where they are up to, um, et cetera. So, um, from those exa examples, I could see one of my students was able to complete one, two, three, four um, goals for the angles. And then, yeah, so I color coded it so that I could easily see what content it was from as well. And I give these exit slips throughout the week. So once they have completed and once I've taught that, and once they have completed activities, then they will complete that. And then the next time um, they complete activities for the next math goal for angles, then they complete this exit slip. Because um, And then at the end of the week, so today, I've been able to see um, what they got up to as well. And then, you know, if we come back to angles again and we come back to the same math topic, like... Um, like if we're, you know, doing addition and subtraction or et cetera, then I can see where they got up to and, um, and then we can continue on from there so they can work on their um, own individual goals. Um, yeah, and I found a lot of benefits as well because on the one page, I can easily see where they're up to. I can um, put it in their student portfolio and folder. So um, I've given each student their own folder and they know that after they complete their exit slip, it goes into that folder so that I have it ready for parent-teacher interviews. So this is just an easy one page that, you know, can go into their folder and I can just whip it out um, during parent-teacher interviews and show them, you know, this is wor where they're working, um, this is where, where they're at and where they can go to next, et cetera. And also, it's gonna be so easy for me to report and comment on as well because I'll be able to use these goals um, and just copy based. <laughs> so, you know, if the student is up to, um, you know, using estimating, measuring and comparing angles using degrees, then I can just copy 
and paste that and then I can put that in as their comment because you know if they're working or if they can do this already and they've achieved that goal then I can put that into their report comments so that's super easy to report on and I can also use this data to track my whole class as well so the way that I do that is um, let me just show you here so whole class tracking so I put the goals up um, color code them um, I put in all my students names in as well and then as the week goes um, or at the end of the week I will um, if I'm doing this on um, a Google Doc or a Word Doc then I'll bold all of those kids who have achieved their goals or I will if I've printed it out and I'm doing it on paper usually it's just easier for me to do it on paper then I will just tick next to their names if they have achieved that goal and that's just such an easy way to track my class especially if I've got the exit slips here and then I've got uh, my math goals and their you know the question and they've answered it um, and if they've gotten it right then I know okay yes they've been able to achieve that goal there and I can also tick it off on the class tracking sheet as well and it's just such an easy way um yeah to see it and i have i have like a whole bunch of these like uh, up in my classroom so that i can you know i can go around and just see where my kids are up to for angles or addition and subtraction or whatever the math concept is um, and also at the beginning of the week i will give them a pre-test um, a pre-test as well to figure out where they are at so what goal they're working on or working towards and the way that I do that is I'll use the um, pretest that I've gathered and then I will um, on the sheet or on the um, Google Doc or Word document I'll highlight those kids who um, who yeah need to work on that goal and that will show me you know who needs to work on goal one or who needs to work on this goal etc um, so then I can cater for those kids um, and then at the end of the week because I'm ticking them off if they are able to achieve that goal then I can actually see their progress their learning progress I can see where they've started and I can see what goals they've been able to tick off so that's been um, really yeah really helpful as well um, so yeah, so this is just my easy way of how to, um, yeah, how I keep track of where my students are at. Um, yeah, I use the exit slips. Um, I break it down, you know, whatever the topic is and I break it down into different goals. And then I create um, questions that link to that goal. And then um, if they can, you know, after they have after I've taught it after they've completed their activities and if they are able to um, you know answer this question correctly then I can tick it off and then as the week goes by I can see how much um, they've been able to progress yeah so yeah like for example you know this one here uh, this student here um, this week they've been a, they've actually been able to achieve a lot they've been able to achieve the first, second, third and fourth goal here. And they've been able to show me, you know, how much they have learned on angles. Um, so that's, yeah, a really quick and easy way that I track student progress um, for math. So yeah, um, let me know next, um, for next week, because I'm thinking of doing one of these videos. So let me know which one you want. Um, I might do one on how I come up with the math learning goals and where they're from. Um, I might do one on math assessments um, because I do give a pretest um, and I found out a really good way to do it without marking. Just saved me so much time. Um, and also could do a video on how to program um, to my math goals and how I differentiate effectively um, to cater for everyone's. Um, individual needs as well so yeah let me know in the comments which like what video you want me to do next week and then yeah we'll go from there so 
yeah, anyway, thank you for listening to um, my video. I hope you have had a really good week. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. I'm Miss Winnie Tang and um, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and um, Instagram. And yeah, thank you for listening, everyone. All right. See you. Bye.